Welcome back. Um, so, um, we are going to be fitting uh, the hydroelastic lines, the um, fuel line, and probably the brake line. Uh, and then we'll get the wiring loom in. Uh, but first, I have got uh, a new helper. Obviously, Lucy normally helps now and again when I need it, but my young daughter, Casey, um, has decided she'd like to get involved. So, she's going to be popping in, helping out during the build. Um, so, this is Casey. Yeah, so, uh, so battery cut out. Uh, so, Casey knows nothing about cars, uh, but she's interested and I could do with the help. So, we're just going to get on with it and she'll be in and out and just doing her thing. Right, so what I've done, uh, I've just put some uh, Dynax on the all the pipes. Uh, just to give them a bit more uh, protection against corrosion. Uh, so we're just going to get on with that now, okay?
Right, so, um, why is everything more difficult uh, or takes uh, takes three times longer than it, um, than what you expect? So, uh, oh, it's just a mini in it. Uh, so yeah, so the um, hydroelastic pipes are in, fuel lines in, and the brake line is in. Battery cable is partially in. Um, wiring loom is in back to the through the inside and to the back and i've provisionally got the main front loom in um, and that is it for today so uh, i need to study some photos and videos again um, just to refresh my memory on the wiring underneath here um, and so i think on the next video I think we'll probably be putting the uh, subframes or building up the, the hubs. Uh, probably start on the front first, uh, get the hubs bearing sorted, um, build up the front subframe, get that done and in. I've still got to put in the um, steering rack, which I'll probably do before I do the subframes. And then I can then get the rear subframe all made up uh, what i want to do the plan is to get it off um the jig rolling uh so then i can get it on the ramp and just up and down with that then so yeah uh, see you on the next one cheers